Okay, so I'm going to show you how to dress a wood loom. First, you're gonna need your um, spool right here and the scissors and some tape. Then we're gonna take one end and we're gonna decide if we wanna string um, the whole loom or if we wanna just do part of it. You can see there are all these little notches here and you could, you do have the option of using all of them or you have the option of skipping them or just um, using a few. So once you decide, you're gonna stick the end through here and wrap it around a couple times like this. So it's through one of these notches, these wooden notches right here. Then I'm going to run it down to the corresponding notch on the other side and put it through like this. Now, I am not gonna use every single notch. Um, I'm gonna use every other notch, which you're welcome to do as well. So then I am going to skip over uh, one notch right here. I'm not gonna use this one, and I am going to put it around it and run it through the other notch right here, and then back down like this. And then when I get to the other side, I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna skip one of those little notches and run it around the other side right there. Um, and then you're just gonna keep going, running this string back and forth, um, keeping it, making sure, you know, it's really pushed back so that these little loops that go around the notches don't slip off. Go back over, hold it with one finger, skip a notch, put it through the other notch right there, and then run it back through. Um, as I said, you can use the whole loom. You don't have to. You can just use part of it. Um, so if you wanted to stop at any point, you're thinking maybe you haven't um, ever used a lap loom before, you've never done weaving before, um, you certainly have the option to stop it with just a few and then it'll be a little bit easier and it'll go a little bit faster uh, as well. Obviously the more of these that you have to kind of weave the yarn through, um, the longer it's going to take, but the bigger the piece is going to be. So I'm just going to keep going back and forth, back and forth, using one finger to hold it in place and then putting the string through the notch. When I have decided, uh oh, move that over, um, that I'm done, you are going to make sure that uh, all your strings are pretty tight. Um, you don't want them, you don't want to be pulling so hard that you're, you know, you're like bending or um, kind of moving the wooden frame around, but you do want them to be really snugly wrapped around. Um, but then when I decide I'm going to, I want to stop, I'm going to make sure that I'm stopping on the same side of it that I started. So this was the side that I started at. I'm going to stop on that same side, um, because I think it just makes it easier. Then I'm going to take my string. I'm going to cut it. You'll notice that I'm leaving a healthy amount at the end because I am again going to wrap it around this part a couple times and then I'm going to run tape along this edge and the reason we're going to do that is to prevent these little loops from slipping over when we're when we're weaving so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take some tape like this I'm going to peel off a bit um, then when I think I have the right amount, I'm going to go ahead and rip it. Then I'm going to stretch the tape across the top of the loom right here. I'm going to make sure, and I think you can see, that the tape goes on top of those little loops. So the tape goes... Um, if you're going to err on 
the side of being really safe goes all the way to the edge of these little notches or like teeth. And you can see underneath here, um, you can kind of see the little bumps where the loops are. I'm gonna press it down, make sure it's secure, and then I'm gonna do the same thing to this other side because the other side has these little loops too and we wanna make sure those don't go anywhere when I'm leaving. And then we're gonna stretch it along the top. Uh, so you have tape on one side, tape on the other. Then you'll probably notice um, that sometimes there's somebody who's written their name there. Uh, you can go ahead and erase that if you want to should just be in pencil and use a pencil to write your name on the wooden part of the loom right here. So I'm gonna erase that person's name because that person is not using it anymore. And I'm gonna write Ms. K right there so that I can recognize mine. Um, and if you have any you know, leftover like little bits, you can cut them a little bit shorter so they don't get in the way but you are basically ready to start weaving. All right, good luck.